uh, land grabbing in Uganda by the black to black apothecary chain of Yorum 7 and his uh, NRM meter juntas. It is uncommon to find what is happening in Uganda. Establishing internally displaced people by the government and Museveni's proxies. My name is British News Chuk Mazinga, leader of Savi Uganda Patriots and commander in chief of the Liberation Struggle to Rescue Uganda from the abusive, corrupt, oppressive, dictator, black, black, apathetic regime of Yorim 7 and his uh, NRM's extremist military ruling group in Uganda. Right now, Uganda may not exist for Ugandans anymore if we don't remove the government of the uh, NRM Yorim 7 and his mutual juntas. I want to make a call to the United Nations, to the world democracies, that it is such erroneous, it is such out of concern, out of handling in Uganda on the issue of land. It is beyond reasonable measures that Yoram 7, through his proxies, have grabbed the land and now it's worse. The issue in concern is the displaced people of Lusanja. Yoram 7, through his proxies and other meter juntas and families and cronies, have grabbed land that are occupied by people. The issue of Lusanja is one to look at, but many places the land has been grabbed and they want to make indigenous Ugandans squatters in their own country. The issue of Lusanja, land grabbing, has displaced over 500 people. People are sleeping outside, children are sleeping outside, and they have nowhere to go. And the government is looking on because it's Yoram 7 who wants to take all the land from the people. In South Africa, people are struggling to see that they can use the law to restitute land. In Uganda, the government that is current, a black government, is grabbing land from the indigenous people of Uganda. This is a serious issue. Whilst having our struggle to restore the country, to rescue the country, to liberate our nation from this abusive, oppressive, dictatorial, black to black apartheid regime of the Orem 7, we call upon the United Nations, the world democracies, to intervene. We can't have established uh, internally displaced people, the liberatory done by Yoram 7 and his proxies. It's too far that we can't afford. We cannot afford this. One, we can't run to the courts. The courts are in the hands of Yoram 7. The judiciary is in the, the hands of Yoram 7. The judges have been captured uh, in the hands of the URM7, and the parliament cannot discuss it. It's uh, in the hands of URM7. Every institution is in the hands of URM7. Ugandans have got nowhere to run, only to call upon the international community to help Uganda. Only is the last resort to rescue Uganda. We cannot have our people sleeping outside, yet they had the houses for time immemorial. The whole village somebody comes with a title that he owns the whole village and this dismantles and breaks down all the houses in the first place they said the eviction order was for a different place and they did it to another place but it was deliberately a trick by the courts and those who applied for that to take land from this lusanja people well that is very important for the international community to look into. If really Uganda belongs to the international community, we need help. The courts cannot help people of Uganda. There's no any institution that can help the people of Uganda, apart from 
the international community to intervene. URM7 decides that all the indigenous people of Uganda remain without land, just to squat. But we are aware of it. And I want to call upon all Ugandans to resist this. And I want to tell URM7 and his proxies that are taking land from the people. You don't own anything in the near future. And I call upon all those who belong to the same group, who have acquired their lands properly, you must join the war to clarify on this. You must join us to fight this dictatorial regime. Otherwise, we may take you in the same category and you will not own anything in Uganda and Bunyoro and all those areas that land has been grabbed by this group of the Rwandese descent and Bahima. Anybody who has got land in this manner and evicted people erroneously is causing a problem in the future that we may decide that you go and buy Nimbarara or Ankole and you have too much money there. You bought, but if you bought it and acquired land properly, join the struggle. Otherwise, at the end of it all, we will say we don't need any Randis descent, any Mohima to own any land in Buganda. And it's coming soon. If you don't join us, you will all go in the same category. We will chase you out. And you're playing that we have, we are not playing. You, you're playing and think that you're very strong and the laws and the laws, those laws belong to you, seven. We will create different laws. It happened in South Africa. They had those laws, but now the law has changed. There is land appropriation now in place without compensation. It will happen in Buganda, Busoga, Abunyoro, and all areas that have suffered this land grabbing. And you'll go back to where you came from without any compensation. Without any compensation. Without any compensation. All the flats and purings that you put on that land will be taken for free. And the people who own that land will be compensated instead of compensating you. Because you have chased away the people. The people who owned that land, occupied that land that you have evicted, will occupy that land once again. That's my warning. It will occupy that land once again. We are not going to allow this to continue. And what I want to tell you, RM7 and his daughters, the time ahead of you proves something very bad for you because you have done two bad things, too many bad things to the people of Uganda. Lusanja issue has brought us to a certain anger. URM7 and family and all what they want to take land from people because you have money. It will not solve the problem and it won't help you. It won't help. You're going to leave that land. You're going to leave all the land that you've grabbed from the people and evicted people. You can't evict 500 people from a village and you come with a, a paper that it belongs to you. If there was a government in Uganda, it should have paid for your title and leave the people on the land and subdivide the land and give the title deeds to everybody. But because there is no government, there is just a middle ruling class, it happens like so. You can't evict people and become internally displaced people. I warn you, you may lose everything. We will tell you to go where you came from without compensation. Watch. Watch. You don't own there anything. You don't own anything there. You're going to get out of it. And will not compensate. And I want to call upon those who acquired land properly and they're not part of the proxies of URM7 and his Dismitter Junta's grabbing land. Join us. We'll consider you. But if not that, all of you are going into the same category and will push you out of Uganda, will push you out of Bunyoro, will push you, will go back to where you came from. That's British New York, you